Blackness fatigue is setting in. America is exhausted from dealing with the never-ending complaints and ingratitude of the black community. Black racism against whites and Asians has reached violent proportions, and with the help and funding of the Democrat Party, militant black racism is getting worse. Well, here's a wild bill bullet of truth for America. White Americans are the least racist people in the USA, probably the whole world. We have been non-racist for the last 50 years, but today the Democrat Party is using racism as a political weapon. And white America is exhausted from dealing with blackness that has been coming against them day after day for years. White Americans who have never had a racist thought in their lives are tired of being constantly accused of racism. They are tired of being told that every problem in the black community is the fault of white people that the massive failures of black cities and neighborhoods and families is our fault. This week, some fruitcake politician declared that blacks violently attacking Asians is caused by white people. No matter what white people do or say, they are slandered as villains by blacks who are determined to punish white Americans simply for being white. They are unappeasable. Now, millions of immigrants came here from England, Poland, Italy, South America, Vietnam, Russia. They came from all around the world, and they were dirt poor when they arrived. But they worked hard and became successful and rich and well-adjusted citizens. So why is it that the African community has remained in poverty for 150 years? We built nice new apartment buildings that quickly became high-crime ghettos. Want to get an education on what's happening in black America? Get on the internet and type in brawls. Restaurant brawls, shopping center brawls, fast food brawls, and look at what you see in those videos. It's not the Germans or the Italians who are turning public places into savage mass fist fights. And it's not the Australians who are walking the streets looking to beat the hell out of some pedestrian simply for having white skin. And it's not the Vietnamese who are burning and looting American cities. And it's not the Russians who are fighting with and sometimes killing our police officers. Now, there are, of course, honorable and respectable men like Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and Dr. Ben Carson. These men are extremely successful and at the pinnacle of their possessions, but for some inexplicable reason, they are hated and ridiculed by the black community as if their success is somehow a betrayal of their race. Men like Carson and Thomas should be held up as role models and emulated, not hated and criticized. America is suffering from blackness fatigue, and that fatigue is slowly but surely becoming a boiling rage. Even the friendliest dog will bite if you kick him long enough. And that is where white America is today. There's a showdown coming. There is no more that we can give. We're done apologizing for imaginary violations, and we're done surrendering to black racism. There's a showdown coming. And it's going to get ugly. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching. And America, bless God again.